Hello folks, I'm Raida Boost and we continue with BIM workflows videos and actually we continue from the previous one in where we took a look how we can export our InfraWorks breach into Autodesk Revit and into Autodesk Civil 3D to continue the design. But I also mentioned that uh, you can carry out analysis in structural bridge design, which is another tool from Autodesk. And in this video, we take a look how we can do that, how we can export our bridge into structural bridge design and how we can carry on with analysis. So all you need is obviously Autodesk InfraWorks and uh, we have some bridge designed, very simple one, and then we can fire up calculations directly from InfraWorks and uh, analysis model will be created. We can also see some preliminary results and then we can open up and do further calculations and analyses inside structural bridge design. So let's have a look and uh, from my previous video I do have a simple bridge and uh, of course uh, this bridge is also already calculated meaning that uh, InfraWorks does have some preliminary calculations included. For example if I include additional pair then uh, my cross sections of uh, curders will be kind of recalculated but to be able to carry on with more detailed design and more detailed calculations then you do need to continue your design in different other packages. And one way to do is that you can use um, from analyze and structures, line coder analysis and also refined analysis. So line coder analysis is for coders and refined analysis enables to carry out 2D and 3D calculations. So let's first uh, take a look to line coder analysis. For that uh, it's easier if I select my bridge first because it is important to understand that your calculations depend on design standard. So you have to know which design standard you should use, which is supported. And uh, currently I am keeping design standard, for example, Australian, just for simple example. But uh, remember that from this selection box, uh, you can also select different ones, which are included with InfraWorks. Once this is clear, then uh, you can go to Analyze and start line coder analysis. So I do a left click. Now additional tab opens up and uh, if I have my previous calculations then uh, I can close this down and on settings tab I can just include project name, job name, also company information and uh, I can also check analysis settings, permissible factor, reverse bending plot, I can include uh, different additional um, parameters to consider and then I have to ensure that okay uh, my bridge one is currently selected and uh, I can see his name but if in my project there are multiple bridges then of course I need to ensure that uh, I have selected the correct one. Okay and once uh, this is clear I can then start analysis and uh, those analyses will be calculated in Autodesk Cloud and those results and models will be then downloaded into your computer. And once those calculations are downloaded then you can move forward. You can check those files by yourself. You can open up those in different packages. For example you can also open it uh, with Autodesk Structural Bridge Design open in ASBD. Also you can check more information about this Autodesk uh, software package from Autodesk website. And then you can also do some changes in your model and recalculate your bridge. So let's wait once uh, analyses are finished. Now my results will be downloaded. And once my analyses are complete, then I can directly go to open output folder. And here are my models and uh, also reports but I will continue with that uh, a bit later. I can also check my results visually and also from results tab because uh, currently I was calculating my curders. Then uh, if I just turn my model upside down and maybe if I select one of my curder using control key, then I can go to results tab and I can see some results. 
and also I can see if my preliminary design is um, currently okay or not and if I do need to for example add additional supports or maybe increase my cross sections. I can continue from here and uh, open up those results or CURDA models using Autodesk Structural Bridge Design. So let's do that. I click open in ASPD and this obviously has to be installed first and one by one I can check my CURDAS and also run calculations in here. So calculate and analyze structure and once this is done I can check different views. Also if I select file and results then I can see my results as in drawings, displacements, support reactions or in table format. Because this is now very specific for Bridge Engineer then uh, I will stop here and uh, show another way how and what you can calculate using InfraWorks. And this is now for 2D, 3D analysis. Remember that um, all your models or files that can be opened up with Structure Bridge Design are downloaded into separate folder so you don't have to open up your InfraWorks model to be able to open up those CURDAS. But of course in here you can do additional design considerations and find an optimum for your bridge design and based on that you can make changes also in your InfraWorks model and from there you can also continue to re-export into Civil 3D or into Autodesk Revit. If I close down my structural bridge design I don't want to save it. So in visually I can see which curders are problematic and which one are good. I will close down my line coder analysis and now let's take a look another analysis module which is called Refined Analysis. So I select Structures, Refined Analysis. I can select a bridge from my model and then I can select which kind of analysis I want to carry out. So analytical model type, you can see two different types from here. So Krillich is uh, basically 2D model and FE is finite element in here you can carry out 3D analysis or analysis in 3D space. So let's select uh, FE in current video. Of course you have a choice of different parameters which you as a bridge designer need to carefully check and once everything looks good I will keep default settings in here I can start analysis and again those analyses will be carried out in Autodesk Cloud and the results will be downloaded into my machine. So let's wait for that. Calculations are ready and they are downloaded into my machine and I can also see some results already from here from results tab. So just uh, clicking through those uh, different views and I can close it down. If I do want to see more specifically those results then I can again open it uh, with Autodesk Structural Bridge Design. Let's do that. Open in ASPD and from here I can see the model and I can also carry out calculations. So analyze the structure and then file results and different views about my bridge which now includes also bridge tech. Those are the workflows in between InfraWorks and Autodesk Structural Bridge Design which has been updated in recent versions and remember that uh, you always have a choice to use different packages to carry out this additional design stage meaning that if you have those models downloaded and if you open your output folder then you can see substructure of your current bridge for example model and from here you have different formats available and you can easily bring that bridge into different packages. So you are not kind of um, tied into one specific package but for example you have some universal formats like JSON and you can import your bridge into your favorite package. And you can also check uh, reports that were shown with InfraWorks as well and this will include 
data and images in one PDF. So this brings us to the conclusion of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you learned something new. It was all about uh, bridge design and how you can um, export your bridge into different packages. And in this video we were using Autodesk Structure Bridge Design, but also in my previous video we have taken a look how you can export your InfraWorks bridge into Civil 3D and into Autodesk Revit. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.